A trainee pilot's first flight is usually in an aircraft propelled by an air screw, otherwise known as a propeller. Propellers are not a modern invention. The Greek Archimedes, born in 287 BC in Italy, designed a screw to lift water for irrigation. Before that, the Egyptians designed and built hollow water wheels with impellers. Water screws may have a 3,000 year history. The principle of propelling a boat using a blade goes back even further. Anyone who has ever dipped a paddle in the water knows that sculling the paddle will move the boat. That is a crew propeller. China in 200 BC had windmills that harnessed the wind using paddles. Over the centuries there have been many designs and refinements leading in 1838 to the first steam driven ship using a screw and known appropriately as the SS Archimedes. It is the twisted aerofoil shape pioneered by the Wright brothers that is the forerunner of the modern propeller. They realised that a marine fan wouldn't do as leaves literally were just screwing through the water as a wood screw bites into wood. The Wright's propellers were flying wings with a twist along the blade so that the angle attack was relatively constant along the length. Their propellers were only 5% less efficient than a modern propeller. But, just as the wing develops lift, it also develops drag. The mathematics of forces acting on a foil are complex and factor in stall angle, rotational velocity, cavitation, pitch, slip, diameter, thrust, torque and structural strength, to name a few. Propellers can reach performance limits as blade tip speeds approach the speed of sound, generating detrimental shock waves. Affected helicopter blades have been designed with swept back tips. The large diameter of a helicopter wing means the tips must move quite fast. The R-22 helicopter has a 7.67 diameter rotor and at 530 RPM the tips are travelling at 766 kilometers per hour or Mach 0.6. In turbofan engines the fan tip speeds can be supersonic causing high dynamic pressure. There the airflow speed and direction is constant regardless of the flight speed unlike airflow around a propeller which varies. Why then don't we have ducted propellers on light aircraft? Alas, there is too much of a weight penalty. Can a propeller driven aircraft break the speed of sound? We know that Chuck Yeager's Bell X1 in 1947 was rocket powered when it broke the barrier. But before that in World War II, propeller driven aircraft may have exceeded 1,234 kilometers per hour or 666 knots in a dive but severe buffeting and controlled unresponsiveness meant pilots backed off, that is if they survived to talk about it. The XF-88 propeller driven research aircraft achieved Mach 1 and came back. Very thin blades at angles of 60 degrees were used. Setting blade angles in flight such as constant speed or variable pitch seek to maintain a constant rotational speed to maximise efficiency. The extremes of pitch that go from no thrust to a stall are avoided. The Watts centrifugal governor of 1788 was a feedback device controlling steam engines and this similar principle is adapted to control propeller speed and pitch. Improved performance as well as fuel efficiency is the result. Rotating propellers on aircraft are dangerous and lives and limbs have been lost when people meet these guillotines. Many tail rotors on helicopters are shrouded for safety Propellers that shatter in flight can fling material at high velocity into the fuselage or into the people on the ground. Propellers are also susceptible to damage from stones, birds and hail, leading to unbalanced operation and engine failure. If an 80 inch propeller rotating at 2500 RPM is just 50 gram unbalanced, then the centrifugal force is 6.86 kN, equivalent to a 700 kilo centrifugal force that may surely disintegrate the propeller and perhaps the engine too. Propeller aircraft suffer in high power, low speed situations such as at takeoff when the change to the center of thrust causes a yawing effect. In a clockwise rotating propeller, the plane yawns to the left.
counted by right rudder in multi-engine aircraft, where the propellers rotate in the same or opposite directions will determine this P factor. The future for propellers has never been in doubt.